we're going on our baby moon super super soon um, we're leaving tomorrow to go to um, a wedding for some family um, that's in Nashville and then we're going straight to New Orleans for our cruise so I wanted to show you guys what I'm packing because um, I thought it might be a little helpful if you're going on a baby moon and you don't know what to wear so my list started out pretty small and then um, I don't know as always there's just a million things that you want to bring so uh, I tried to narrow it down as much as I could um, since we're going on a cruise you know we don't have to abide by like the three ounce rule or the 75 pound rule or hopefully god we won't get to 75 pounds but here we go. I'm bringing a lot of dresses because we are going to Mexico so um, it's probably gonna be pretty hot. Maternity dresses are pretty comfy and pretty um, flattering to begin with so this is what I'm wearing to the wedding. You can see um, generally it is like about knee length and um, it's maternity so I love this dress and I recommend that everyone who's pregnant definitely gets at least one color of this dress um, and I may or may not be getting the green maxi version for Mother's Day. <laughs> so I have my kind of like dressy dress um, and then I'm also bringing a few other maxi dresses just general comfy stuff like this which this is from Forever 21 and I got in like a bigger size um it's just kind of like a tent dress put a little belt around the bump or above the bump super comfy super lightweight love it this one's complicated here is another maxi dress that i got from motherhood maternity um it's super stretchy and comfy but apparently my chest is too small so um i had to take it in see um but otherwise i love this dress it's super comfy and it has a little tie so you can emphasize the bump and people don't just think you're really fat. So, um, I know I'm probably ever doing it on the maxi dresses, but it's pretty much all I'm going to wear. And you never know what mood is going to strike, so um, I pack for the mood. This is another maxi from Forever 21. It was like $12. And I uh, just got in a bigger size. I had to take this in a little bit too, you can see, like around there. Well, you can't really see it. Because it was a bigger size, the shoulders and the chest were just too big, but otherwise it's perfect. Super stretchy, shows off the bump, and another one of those that I can belt. Awesome, super comfy. And then my last maxi dress. This is another motherhood dress, I guess. Okay, yeah, it's a dress. Um, I'm gonna wear this. I like that. All right. This is not maternity. Um, it's just a stretchy pencil skirt that I got from like H&M. Um, I wear it over my bump, way up here and um, versatile, I don't know. I can wear this with like a tank top or something and look kinda schnazzy. Uh, I'm bringing only one jacket, kind of sweater thing. So I figured I'd bring something not like super chunky cozy and bring something that I can actually like wear to the wedding. I feel like I need a sweater. You know, especially on a cruise, you know, when you're actually sailing, it can get kinda windy and whatever, so I feel like that's a good one. And plus, sweaters aren't good. Chili jacket? I love this. And my husband has like the same one. And it freaks him out so bad if I wear it at the same time he wears it. Oh, oh, I love it. He's so sensitive about it. It's so funny. So this is good. Um, it's big enough that it can go over a sweater. It kind of like adds a little trendy business to an otherwise like traditional outfit or something that's a little bit girly and you want to make it a little like edgier or something I guess. Your super edgy pregnant woman look. That's what that's awesome for and we go to Mexico like a fair amount and it rains a lot. I figure we can be prepared and this is light enough that it's you know not gonna just like overwhelm me with heat but um, I can protect myself from rain. Jean jacket. Staple man staple. This works well for everything. I don't know. That's pretty obvious. I really like to wear that with maxi dresses because it's a little bit shorter so it kind of gives you that waist. You know like not that you have that anymore because you have a baby in there and they stole your waist but it kind of gives you the proportion. Like that's where my waist would be. Maternity shirt. That's so long. I'm bringing two maternity shirts. 
Um, this one is like a kind of crepe material. See, so it's like really sheer. Can you see me? Can I rob you like this? I can see you pretty well. So we know we can use this after baby to rob people. This is just kind of like a flowy top. This shirt is also maternity. I don't know, that's cool. I might also bring the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's not maternity, but it's super stretchy, so I boot. Do you guys do this or is this just me? I just bring a ton of tank tops, like just a ton of tank tops. Like, I try to only bring two regular black tank tops, one black maternity tank top, one white maternity tank top, a couple like muscle tees, like this one. This is good. Yeah, if you know what this is from, you're cool. I like you. And if you don't, that's okay too, just you've wasted most of your life. So, bunch of tanks, I, think I cannot stand to have even the threat of belly exposure. Ugh. I like those long tanks under, much, under pretty much anything that I'm wearing. And now that I'm big enough, it's like, I will rock a tank up by itself. I do not even mind because, oh, I went to get a prenatal massage today. I know the girls that work there, my sister is an esthetician where I go. They said, wow, your belly has really popped. You've definitely crossed into that pregnant, not fat stage. And I was like, so I just looked fat earlier. Which is okay because I know that I did, but I'm glad I graduated. And I'm gonna wear tank tops to celebrate. Sports bra kind of things. Stretchy like bra thingies that I wore during the first trimester when your boobs hurt all the time. They hurt all the time. So you have to wear a bra to bed and I don't wanna wear an underwire to bed. It's not even good for you. So um, I just wore these like little bralette, I guess is what they're called. Um, I got like a ton from Forever 21 and they were super cheap. So now I'm getting to the point where I think like some stuff is happening in this area. Even a bra like that makes my boobs look pretty money. So, oh, I also like to wear those. Like if we decide to go see some ruins in Tulum or something or whatever we're gonna do, I find that you like sweat a lot when you do that kind of thing, especially when you're pregnant. I can wear those under my clothes and it like absorbs the sweat. This is such a gross topic. Like, I don't know, whatever. Next I'm gonna talk about constipation, but it absorbs the sweat. I don't know, then you don't feel like so much like you have to not wear it for the rest of the trip. You just wear it for other sweaty activities. Um, there's something about like sweating into like a bra that is kind of gross. And then like the bandeau version, also stretchy. And I wear that under the maxi dresses because some of them are still kind of like, if I wear that underneath, it almost looks like part of it. And then like actual bras, cool. You guys know what those are for? I'm gonna do a follow-up video on what bras are for. Since we're on the subject of under things, I'm bringing a ton of underwear. Because is there anything more nerve-wracking than being on vacation and thinking you don't have enough underwear? I mean, there may be something in the world that's more nerve-wracking than that, but it's not pleasant. Especially when you're pregnant, Bring a million pairs of underwear. I'm gonna put these in my bag, so I don't forget them. We would have to turn around. I just got this like belly band kind of thing in the mail. I don't know, It's it seems kind of short. It was free, I just had to pay for shipping and stuff, and that kind of thing always makes me nervous. I rock like the cheapest belly band of all time, pretty much 18 hours a day, so I figured that this would be the same, but this one has like a, a button on it, which, I don't know, they say that you can wear your pre-peg, pre pre-pregnancy jeans with it, but that assumes that your legs haven't gotten fatter, or your ass. Mine have. Thanks for bringing that up. Sensitive subject. Two maternity like workout tops. These are the bomb. So you can see it has the ruching on the side, which is awesome. It also has like a built-in bra thing, and it's that um, wicking material. So. Uh, I got one from my mom for my birthday, and at first I was like, what even is this? Like, why do I need this? But then I started wearing it, like, constantly. Like, I wear it to work out, but, I mean, that happens relatively infrequently. So, it's actually kind of pretty flattering, and I love it. So, I'm bringing dos, and I just got this one. Obviously, the tag is still on. I got it at Target in the clearance section mm -hmm, for, like, $7. Pretty impressive. Sleepy things. I mean, I don't know what you guys are wearing still to sleep, but I like these. They're comfy, so that's what I'm gonna wear. Yoga leggings, yoga pants, self-explanatory, no? One pair of maternity jeans. Um, these are pretty basic, they're just like dark skinnies. Um, I feel like I can dress these up for um, when we go out with my family for dinner. Um, and, you know, I don't know, they're pretty versatile. I feel like that was pretty, pretty intelligent on my part. Just kidding, that was, was not that exciting. I'm bringing a few scarves 
and like cover up things. We actually got this the last time we were in Mexico, which if you've watched my intro video, you know what happened there. But anyway, it's like a sarong thingy, so um, I'm gonna try and somehow like wrap my body in that. Like, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Um, I also got this kimono thing, which I wanted to return, but then we waited too long. So I'm gonna wear it as a cover up. It's like open, so I feel like I can like bare my belly and like not worry about it. Like, I don't want one of those over the head. This is over the head. You know, like get it like putting it. Anyway, um, I didn't really want one of those over the head cover ups because like, of a big belly. I want it to be free. So, cover up thingies. And of course that only applies if you're going to a beach or something like that, but I think you gathered that. Little foam flip flops, which um, are good for just like walking down the hall to get ice, um, walking around the boat, I guess. I don't know, basic stuff like that. Slightly more, less junky flip flops, which are pretty versatile. So, some kicks and socks, of course for like touring, um, if we do go on any of the cruise like excursions, those will be good. One pair of heels, cause we're going to a wedding. And you know, like maybe one night on the boat we'll wanna look nice, I don't know, probably not. But um, I try to get the most versatile pair that I could find so that I don't have to like just jam my suitcase full of heels, cause why? Minimal jewelry and totally wearing it in the car because I'm not one of those like organized girls that doesn't tangle the total ever living hell out of her jewelry so I figure if I wear it it's safer so pretty basic stuff whatever hair dryer because I don't know if they have them on the boat I read that they didn't Google I don't know are you lying to me you've done that before bring it because if I don't and I let my bangs dry naturally they're like curly like Elaine from Seinfeld Curly. So we have to dry those. Bathing suits. So I'm wearing a bikini. This is a maternity bikini because I'm gonna wear it while I'm pregnant. So I'm bringing a couple bikinis. I'm gonna I'm gonna be that girl and I'm rocking it. Absolutely rocking it, girls. Then of course we have our basics. Makeup, makeup remover, contacts, razor, toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant. Moisturizer, hairbands, and bobby pins. You almost forgot about this one, huh? Not that a week probably matters, but I'm totally bringing my cocoa butter to rub on the belly. Every day, because you know what? I'm getting humongous, and I feel like if I'm gonna get stretch marks, it's probably now. So I'm gonna make sure that I drink a lot of water, do the belly stuff. Watch my video on it. I'll never know which side it's gonna be on. So far I have none, and I've got a pretty big belly. Lip balm. I'm bringing both Tylenol and Dramamine. I mean, I don't usually have problems with like seasickness or whatever, but I do get kind of, you know, when we're taking off um, in a plane. So I figure that if I'm gonna get seasick, I'm more likely to now um, that I'm pregnant than ever. So I just brought a little like travel size Dramamine with me and um, Tylenol. I've taken like two capsules my entire pregnancy when I had really horrible, horrible um, headaches. But I'd rather have it than not have it. Sunscreen. I don't love this kind of sunscreen. Um, it's got all like the icky stuff in it, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Like I burn so easily. So I have to be coated in sunscreen at all times. And it's like if I go in the ocean at all, then my feet are covered in sand and then I have to rub natural sunscreen back into my feet and I'm just in a perfect world. Yes, I would just constantly reapply. I would just constantly be reapplying, you know, but it's not a perfect world. So Honest Company has an all natural or mostly natural um, spray sunscreen, but of course they're out. So to all of you jerks who bought it so that I couldn't get it, I'm coming for you. That's right. But seriously, I have to have like a so much sunscreen, otherwise I get, oh, it's not pretty. Doesn't everyone have one of these? Double decker? Yeah. I bought this when we were trying to conceive and I was taking like a million supplements a day. Like, I don't even know how to pronounce most of them, but um, now it's got um, more than a week's worth of my prenatal folate um, DHA. And then of course I have my low-dose thyroid medications. My little Claire Sonic thingy, shaving cream. Oh, I love Birch Box. Oh, they send me the cutest little like samples of stuff. And it's freaking perfect for when you travel. Fiber gummies, because you're pregnant. I don't know. 
I have to take them. I'm probably gonna bring this entire thing too. Complete mask. This is possibly the most important part of your packing, which is your grizzly shirt. Um, seeing as how the Grizzlies will be playing the Golden State Warriors in games three and four during our baby moon cruise. If we're gonna be able to watch it on the boat, I don't know. And there's a game during the wedding, so it's kind of bad timing. But uh, regardless, I'm gonna wear my little grizzly stuff. I feel like that's necessary and I would like you to do the same. Thank you very much. In addition to all of that stuff, you know, I'm bringing just the basics. Like my Kindle, totally packed full of easy reads. I love thrillers. Oh, I'm just gonna sit back and read nothingness for five days straight. Um, Kindle charger, bring my phone, phone charger. Computer, computer charger. Camera, camera, battery charger. All of that tech stuff um, is on the list too. I think that's it. So far, my bag does not look totally overpacked, so I'm feeling good about that. Um, are you guys taking a baby moon? And if so, where are you going? Are you excited? Because you have to be. It's like a requirement for baby moons. You have to be excited. Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. Do I have to cry on camera again? I'll do it. I will do it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.